My name is Mario Armeda and I am the world president of the IFFP and I'm very honored to moderate this panel today. Let me start by thanking the Division for Social Policy and Development of the Department of Economic and Social Affairs of the United Nations for organizing this event with us and all the staff of the Division as well as our delegates here for the invaluable work in the preparation of this event. ...of great weakness due to various social problems and is in need of support in order to develop its social network. With the Family Alliance, you can achieve the goal of promoting policies that activate a collaboration between all local stakeholders in order to build a family-friendly society. Research based on scientific evidence shows that in developed countries, children from poor households are more likely to grow up in poverty themselves. It is here that concrete measures are needed to rectify our policies and services to help families out of poverty and social exclusion. And then the statement, what is the National Family Policy Statement? It's a policy for prioritizing family perspective in all social economic development efforts to ensure quality generation. Because we are aware to us, when you talk about population, definitely the family is very important. We have to look because they are threatened. You are talking about environment, you are talking about inter-financial, or even the migration. It does have pro you know, impacts on the family. Mm -hmm. And this agenda is also universal. That is, depending where we go, be that it is Malaysia, be that it is Italy, Mex Mexico, uh, or, or Malta, it doesn't really matter. The needs are the same, though the values might change slightly. But what definitely is going to be in common by the year approximately 2050 is that around 60% of the world population will be living in urban areas. Prevention starts at looking at what we call the social determinants of health. So our division is centered on the approach of if you're going to work on something, you have to first look internally. So our whole division and our whole agency is dedicated to transforming the way they look at racial and social justice as a health department. You can no longer say that this, this community, this, this community has different health disparities or health inequities. What are the root causes of those issues? Is it because the unemployment rate is really high? Has become the, 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 the housing market is decrepit. So we re examine everything from start to finish recently. What about helping young people prevent uh, poor family formation so that we you know, reduce the number of vulnerable families by wise judgment uh, and teach them early about the value and happiness of, of good families? In the panel, most of the time we uh, get together to discuss uh, problems and issues, but what I like about this panel is that each of the panelists is presenting solutions from their own social environment that sometimes that is missing in our set of uh, goals. You know how to part personalize or, or tailor solutions for a very specific uh, social environment. We also recently began a redefined home uh, home today home tomorrow competition for architects. Um, to bring in new ideas and innovations on um, proposing affordable um, renovation solutions so people who want to live um, and remain within their communities as they age and you know um, and so we're asking architects to propose new ideas and each year we will um, this year we gifted um, a home renovation for a US um, veteran over in, in um, Memphis, Tennessee and um, the ideas that are proposed each year will then um, be used, uh, will be compiled and ultimately um, created into a toolkit for homeowners and um, builders and architects. Um, so these ideas can be shared as well. And so that's something that we wanted to put forward and that is also um, available on our website. So, And uh, just a couple of um, comments in terms of social development. The 
uh, for us to really have multi-generational family approach and the integration, the holistic uh, approach. I just want to add um, from the perspective of the organization I represent, uh, the need for social integration. Uh, migration factors around the world have uh, disconnected many family members from one another. Uh, younger people moving to cities for education and uh, uh, economic development uh, have left many older and uh, people with disabilities behind in more rural communities. Uh, the ability to integrate families is, um, and the extended family in particular, uh, for example, China, there's approximately 56 million grandmothers raising grandchildren in the country, which enables young people to get education in the cities and to maintain um, a process of real development, real economic development. Uh,